So welcome to my video. This is my guide how to fish paste on commercial fisheries. So today I'm fishing a uh, boundary pool at Manor Farm Leisure which is near Eversham. It's one of my favourite lakes to be honest with you to go pleasure fishing because you, when that float goes under you really don't know what it's going to be. It could be a £10 carp, it could be an £18 carp, it could be a 10 ounce F1, it could be a bream. Um, you know if you fish other baits like worms and casters you catch all, all sorts crucians, skimmers, big roach, big perch even so yeah it is a, a fantastic lake but today's video is about focusing on pace fishing so hope you enjoy it and um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel I'd be very grateful if you could do that Now because Boundary Pool is full of lots of different species, there's a lot of small fish in there, therefore I have to fish paste a little bit stiffer than I would normally want to fish it. Normally I say the wetter the better, but today, especially being pleasure fishing, there was just like, fish were starving, so there was just so many fish in front of me, uh, I've had to fish a lot stiffer pace than what I normally would. Always use a pole part, it wasn't that stiff that I could like literally ship it out without a pole part, otherwise it would just be carnage and just keep falling off, so the pole pot's just simply made out of uh, kinder eggs um, so you can use anything like that, I know Guru makes decent paste pots as well so they're nice and tall uh, uh, which helps paste not fall out so you don't want a shallow part normally otherwise it just ends up bouncing out and obviously if you look at the rig the line's a lot longer than what you normally would um, it's not a problem just, just hold a tight line and sometimes you can actually feel the bites So there's my bait table, a bit overkill really, great big bait table and I had anything of it on it so that's the joy of pace fishing to be honest with you. So my pace is made out of coarse pellets, so hinders coarse pellets, four mils, over wetted so nice and soft, bit of water to keep my hands clean and just, just dust, dust the paste off when you work it. So tying a rig really easy. Just get your length of line, wherever you desire, obviously for the depth where you're fishing. And basically just go do like one big knotless knot hook length. So make sure you thread your hook through the back. And then I just fold the piece of line over the shank. And then all I'll do is go 22 turns down the hook. And then I'll go two turns back up. I wet it so it stops the burn. Make sure you go through the back. And there's your hook perfectly tied. Using a knotless knot with the eyed hook for me is number one because it makes the hook kink in and you've got a better hook hold. Obviously trim the tag. And then all you do then is put your float on backwards. So you want to put all three rubbers on. We've got a cat at the top of our garden. So 
leisure rig pretty much made then I do new shot on my on my float so I put it about 18 inches away now the reason why I new shot it helps with less friction on the pace so when you've actually put your pace in the water you've only got say like undershot it by like say one number eight if you're fishing short then obviously that's only one number eight this the friction of the pace coming off whereas if you don't shot your rig or don't use the south cock cocking uh, rig then obviously you've got a lot more resistance so your pace is going to come off a lot easier Lovely F1 top lip, happy days. Sometimes you can actually feel the bikes. Hold a tight line. Always try and feed when you're playing a fish. You don't really want to feed paste ideally when your rig's actually present in the water. Otherwise, you'll probably end up getting, you know, silly bites that you, you miss. You know it's right when it's always top lip. real good method of building up a big weight if you're fishing in a match or if you're pleasure fishing like I am and it's just a great way of fishing catch all sorts on boundary skimmers f1s big carp or fusions See, absolutely mint, beautiful fish.
absolutely solid. Don't hit every bike. 